absolutely amazing and I'm going live Thank now you. so Carolina you should see that coming up in about 30 seconds and I'm mm -hmm. gonna let everybody in here we go have fun with it Hi. I'm going live now great hi Hafsa oh is that hello <laughs> hi Joe Hi. Lovely to see you. And Ken, hello. So oh. good to see you. Oh. So, um, we we took out the mixed vegetables to defrost in preparation, and he's seen them defrosted before bed and decided to eat them. Oh no! So he might want to keep those behind. So he's in. In bed. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Well, it's lovely to see you all. And we have Karen here as well. Fantastic. You're, you're, oh. upside, you're on the side, Karen. I don't know if you can move your camera that way. But oh. you're on a, yeah. Oh, about on the side. <laughs> yeah. You're like a, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Just so we can see you the right way around. There oh, we I'm go. I'm upside down. I'm upside down now. No, yeah. now you're the right way up. There we go. That's yeah. wonderful. Hello. The Gamak family, love to, lovely to see you all. And we have also Joe as well. Fantastic, wonderful to see you. How are you feeling today, Joe? Good, thank you. Great, 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 great. So, um, welcome to uh, another Open Kitchens Cook Along. Uh, we're so excited to have you guys here with us today. We've, I think we've got another guest coming shortly. Um, but I will just make a start because we're actually live streaming now as well. So a huge welcome to our participants and a, a wonderful, wonderful welcome to our special chef today that I will introduce in a little minute. Um, we're Heart and Parcel and my name is Claire and tonight I will be your host uh, for this evening um, for these cook-alongs funded by Forever Manchester. Um, I'll be here to helping you, uh, seeing you through all of the cook along from start to finish, um, maybe repeating some of the instructions if you missed them whilst you were busy cooking. And to my left, I have Hanan. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Uh, Hanan, learn and learn and coordinate part and part. I uh, hope you enjoy Russia cook along this night. Uh, is free to any. Uh, I'm happy because we have a little our guests <laughs> tonight with the family. Have Hi. Yeah, great. Thank you. Sorry if it broke up a little bit there. Hanan is calling in from Morocco. So it's <laughs> tonight yeah. to be with us. So I do apologize if there's any connection issue and we yeah, have Carolina yeah, here you. as well hello good evening my name is Carolina I'm a co-founder and a director of Heart and Parcel and I will be with you tonight and in a live stream as well passing any interesting comments or questions have fun tonight thank you mm. And last but not least, we have the wonderful Rasha with us. So hello to Rasha. Hello. Good evening, everyone. How are you? I hope you are well. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Rasha. That's fantastic. OK, just Thank a couple you. of things before we get started. I know that you're all really eager to cook, um, but just want to share um, a few, um, I think, just rules to help us through the cook along. Um, we will have a short activity at the beginning. So just a little chance to, to meet you all. Um, if you have any questions at any point uh, for the team or for other participants, feel free to ask at any time or, or to interrupt. It's very informal. Um, or you can even type in the chat uh, to the right hand side at any point. Uh, same on the live stream, please do ask any questions for Rasha or for any of the participants whilst we're cooking. Um, it'd be really great to have your interaction. 
If you think you don't need to ask any questions during the cooking, um, please just turn your microphone on mute so it just cancels out any of the, the cooking sounds uh, or the background noise. Cook-alongs, if you haven't been to one before, don't worry, we will summarize the instructions every single step. So please don't feel as if you need to catch up or if you're falling behind, it's okay. Um, please keep your video on so we can see where you're up to uh, and that Rasha can see how your cooking is going and can give you some feedback. And last but not least, technical issues can happen. So please don't worry. If you get thrown out of the Zoom room, just click back in and we'll keep you up to speed. Same with us as well. Um, there might be some technical issues, but don't worry, we will sort it out from our end here. Okay, so I think we're gonna start with a little activity as many of us already know how to do. So I'm just going to have a, here we are. We're going to play a game. So I don't know if uh, Karen, you've got some, have you got some uh, helpers with you tonight? Uh, yes, I do have a helper. Fantastic. Okay. So they can definitely join in. Oh, and great. Joe and Hafsa, the Mecca family, um, please do join in. We want you to find a special ingredient or dish in your kitchen that reminds you of celebrations and holidays, okay? So this could be a utensil, an ingredient, um, any kind of food, anything you want. You have 15 seconds to go and grab and bring back to hold up to the screen, okay? So off you go. I think Hanan and Carolina are playing as well. And please, on the live stream, please do play as well. I know that a lot of you like playing this game too. 15 seconds. Off you go. I can see in the in the Gamak family, we've got somebody yeah. running around. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. I think I bought those, Karen, as well the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you into, to introduce those in a minute. Um, Joe's back, great. Hafs is back. I think Carolina's gone. Oh no, she's there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to stop the screen because I want to. I want to see what we've got here. Carolina, you want to go first? What have you got? Yeah, I've got clementines. This clementines. Is oh. Yeah. My family in Poland always buys them weeks before Christmas and that big boxes and we eat them all the time. And that smell, fresh smell of clementines reminds me Christmas. Oh, that's a great one. Thank you. Brilliant. Thanks so much. Hanan, what have you got? Uh, it's a surprise for me first <laughs> because uh, my sister prepared this this tagine for us today wow. because when we are together like, like a family we still ce we celebrate yes uh, the gathering we celebrate the hospitality with us yeah yeah amazing this is uh, oh my gosh it looks so good and i love the decoration yeah. as well beautiful beautiful yeah Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And I'm going to go <laughs> to Joe as well. Joe, what have we got? Okay. So mine is not really an ingredient or a dish. It's a piece of equipment. And it is my electric whisk. Nice. Yeah. And in my family, when we have a celebration or a special event, we often like to make a pavlova. So using <sighs> the electric whisk makes whisking the egg whites for the meringue and whisking the cream a lot easier. Oh my gosh, I bet. That cuts out literally like 20 minutes, doesn't it? <laughs> That's <laughs> brilliant. Oh, I never even thought about that. Great, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're going to the Gamak household. What have we got? What have we got for yours? Um, we have some giant toasting, like the giant toasting marshmallows. Um, so when we go on holiday, um, we like to get our skewers and just barbecue or toast these on the fire. And sometimes we dip them in chocolate as well. Um, and we've just started making them at home as well during lockdown. Um, so we oh. quite like melting these. 
Oh my gosh, that sounds absolutely delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. delicious. Yeah. Thank you. And we have here uh, Hafsa's Hafsa's family there. What have we got? Um, so this which doesn't look very special at the moment. It's a spatula. And, um, it's the same spatula as that is grandma's, which is where we go for any big celebration. Um, and it's very vintage. His mom bought it from him from eBay because she couldn't find it anymore. But you slide this down. And it's, oh my gosh! So um, yeah, just ages ago, Jamal was really impressed by it at his grandma's, <laughs> and his mom really looked for looked long and hard on the internet to find it. But it's good for like fish, but or if you want a really big piece of cake. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Love it. I've never I seen that one. before. <laughs> I really want one as well. Nice oh, looks so good. Looks so good. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Lots of really interesting stories there. Um, anything over on the live stream, Carolina? You're on mute, I think. Sorry, no, nothing yet. Nothing yet. OK, that's great. All right. So I think without further ado, we're going to get cooking because I know there's a couple of different elements to this dish. I'm so excited for you guys to try this tonight. It's a really, really interesting dish and Rash is going to tell you much more about it as we go along. Um, but just want to check that everyone is ready. Is everyone OK? Yep. And of course, I'm going to summarize the instructions as we go along. OK, so Rasha, um, do you want to unmute yourself? Just going to unmute. Rasha, if you just unmute yourself, just the main, we can't hear you. There yes. we go. Yeah. Great. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Take it away. <laughs> First, I uh, I want to tell my um, guys about myself. I'm uh, Rasha. Uh, I'm uh, originally from Iraq. I'm married. I have two children, age 10 and 5. I have master's in geography and used to work uh, as a university teacher in Iraq. Now I teach in a school here in Manchester. Uh, I like cook uh, too much. <laughs> cook for me, cooking for me is art, uh, science, and uh, fun and passion. It makes me uh, happy. Uh, learning new cooking uh, techniques and discovering new in ingredients from uh, uh, across the world. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, because uh, before I uh, start to cook, I uh, would like to say to participants uh, a big thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and a special thanks for my supporter, Hanan Clear. Carolina, for giving me uh, an opportunity, opportunity like this. Thank oh, you very much. Thank you, Rasha. We're so excited to have you. So you. this is really a great opportunity for us. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. So what are we making? Shall we start? Yeah. yeah. What we are start? we making? Um, today, I make uh, a chicken roll because it's uh, difficult to choose. I chose this uh, uh, when I uh, choose uh, some uh, dish. Uh, I think about what people like and part of health and uh, uh, traditional Iraqi food uh, need time for cooking. For this, I choose chicken roll which inspired, inspired uh, from Bengali Kati roll. But mm. here I completely change, uh, change it to way cooking. It's my or own uh, cooking way. This is what we love about Heart and Parcel, yes. the unique recipes that yes. come and from the learners. It's yes, it's become... Uh, 
framework in uh, Iraqi chicken, uh, Iraqi kitchen, sorry. Wonderful. Ah, yeah. oh, sounds now, delicious. Yes. Now I want to show my guys uh, the ingredients. The main thing is uh, minced chicken breast. Great. This is the main thing. And frozen mixed vegetables. Wonderful. This one. And a medium onion. I uh, chopped before the session. Great. Medium onion chopped before. Yep. And uh, chopped potato, medium potato. Uh, and uh, put it in uh, boiling water. Great. So that should have been in boiling water. Yes, because I want uh, uh, soft. Great. Uh, and I didn't use in the uh, filling uh, salt, I use uh, vegetables uh, cube, stock vegetables in cube. Uh, one, uh, I uh, don't use salt in the filling. Okay. And uh, special thing, it's garam masala. Uh, because in Iraq, we uh, used another spice for uh, chicken. Now I use caramel masala. I like it too much. Mm. Yes. Uh, this uh, butter, I change it because uh, butter for me uh, tastes taste uh, too much. Uh, if you don't like, you can use uh, oil. Uh, sunflower oil, but I like butter. It's just one spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So we're going to keep keep to the butter. That's good. The main thing uh, is garlic. Wonderful. I don't chop before the session because I have a reason for this. <laughs> Great. And this for me, from me, I add the dried uh, dried basil. The original uh, recipe uh, hasn't. And this uh, fresh uh, mozzarella cheese. So I added uh, for the filling when mm -hmm. we roll it. Fantastic. Yes. And, and cup of water, this one. Great. Wood. <laughs> with sticks. Yes, very important. Yes. And uh, this for decoration, if you like. Wonderful. Any vegetables, any vegetables if uh, you like, you can with it. Looks good. Looks good. Now, now shall we start? Yes. yes. What should we make first? First, I chopped uh, the onion. I chop the onion uh, to small piece mints. Uh, the garlic, you mean? Uh, sorry, garlic. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So get I the garlic. garlic. Yes. First one, I chopped garlic. I um, don't prefer chopped uh, before uh, because I have reason. Uh, the Garlic's water, I want uh, to be observed by chicken. Mm. It's, so by, uh, cut, by chopping it now, it yes. saves the flavor. Yes, it's tasty. Great. Yes. Good cooking tip. So participants, if you can just chop, finely yes. chop your garlic, just as Rasha is doing now. Yes, how are doing ladies and gentlemen <laughs> yes i think they're doing well actually i think they're getting busy to it yes good we need three cloves garlic three cloves of garlic yes three cloves of the garlic yes wonderful Cooking uh, for me, I think, is reflect many 
unique social. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, culture and environmental uh, traditions. Uh, yeah. Yes. It uh, shows how each country has uh, it. Um, um, on cooking uh, customs, uh, 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 which have a very special meaning for people. Yeah. Uh, sorry, to people, yes. It's very true. Mm. I wonder, with your geography degree, is it very yeah. sim- do you, is it very similar to food as well? You start to explore yeah. food. Mm. Yes. So I decided I take. Um, part in the heart and parcel uh, kitchen uh, kitchens open kitchens project. Yeah. Yes, because uh, helps me to know uh, how to meet uh, uh, new people and share food with what I like with them. Yes. 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 And it's a great opportunity for uh, me to challenge my presentation skills doing live talk or talk live. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. I think you're doing a brilliant job. I'm just going to admit one more participant in. I think we'll just admit them in, but we'll get them up to speed. It's no problem. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Mike. <laughs> Hi, are we late? Yes, you are, but it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> we thought We've it was just... 7.30. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. So okay. we just need to chop three cloves of garlic. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyone, anyone have a question? Guys, anyone have a question? There's causes the garlic. Yeah, does anyone have any questions so far? Question? No. Cloves of garlic are fine. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Okay. Yes. So let's we wait what... or uh, I continue. Continue on, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I bring the chicken and I want to add the onion. Okay. To the, to the chicken. Great. So with the chopped onion, adding it to the chicken mince. Yes. And now, after this, I add the uh, minced garlic. And the minced garlic straight in there. And so Veronica and Mike, just the finely chopped onion, the finely minced garlic and the chicken breast and mixing it all together. How are we doing, guys? I think everyone's good. Yeah, just mixing stuff up. Yeah. 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 They might have some questions yes. later, though. <laughs> now, uh, I mix it uh, together. Uh, just I, I won't put the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> so you can mix by hand all together. Yes. Or, yes. Mix it well. And everyone's going to be mixing. Yes. Mix Jamal is chopping. <laughs> good. Yes. You guys okay over there? Yeah. All good. 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 And I'll come back to Veronica you, and Mike in a bit. You know, I want to add something uh, with the yeah. recipe no. Russia today. Uh, uh, to be honest, because try renovating some recipe is very clever, Claire, and Russia, especially <laughs> Russia, because uh, as a mom, for your children to maybe to adopt an open mind for new tastes and to mm-hmm. try new recipes in the same time. Because when Russia said, um, Okay, she used in Iraq another spicy, but she but she tried to use gram marsala. This was very clear. Yeah, really. yeah. yeah. Yes, it's very uh, very delicious. And if you haven't uh, gram masala, you can use uh, seven spices. Is uh, good. Ah, okay. Yes, seven spices. Great. Okay. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. I now I. I also, sorry. Sorry, Russia. I also think it's very brave because uh, many people, myself included, just follow the recipe and they are scared to change anything or add or, yeah, just change the recipe. So I think it's very brave as well. <laughs> Thank you, <Yes>. Russia. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. yeah. Sorry. Uh, I continue. Yeah, please. Now I add salt, garam masala, and um, uh, garam masala, salt, and black pepper. And black pepper. Okay, so yeah. just three things there salt, black pepper, garam masala, and Rasha will give you the quantities in just a second. Uh, sorry. So how, ma how much garam masala? Uh, one tablespoon big because it's um, uh, uh, add, uh, tasty. Uh, yes. Great. Adds a lot of flavor. Yes. And one tablespoon, same. Of salt? Of salt or tablespoon. not uh, full. Depends what do you like, okay? Yeah. Yes. And we mix together. Great. Are you adding the pepper in? Yes, now. I am. Wonderful. Yes. Uh, it's a small uh, a spoon. Depends, uh, depends uh, what people like because uh, some people doesn't like uh, spices or black pepper. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's true. Yes. So, okay, that's good. But the salt and the pepper you can season to your tastes. Yes. Russia. Yes. 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 Uh, what kind? What kind of spices did you bring with you from Iraq? Oh, kababa. Kababa. <laughs> uh, kababa. It's for Cuba, especially for Cuba. Okay. Mm. Yeah. How is how is taste like kababa? Oh, very delicious, and um, you can't taste it when eat uh, uh, kuba. I have when I see you. I. Eat. <laughs> yeah, I think you gave me some last time. Yes. It's absolutely delicious. Yes. It's the second one. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Yes. Now I mix it well. I put it in the fridge. And okay. Turn, uh, prepare the filling. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so after you've mixed that, you can pop it in the fridge. You can cover it or not. Oh, nice mixing going on over there. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and Jamal seems to be continuously chopping, which is great. <laughs> and the Parker household, got, uh, how are you doing, Mike? We're doing really good. We should come. Uh, we should come late more often. Yeah. yeah, you can like run and catch up. <laughs> Just to confirm, with the chicken, we've put the onions and the garlic, black pepper, salt, and garam masala, and mixed it all together. That's that's it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I believe yeah. so. Is that right, Russia? Yes, I'm put it in, in the fridge after this. Until Fantastic. Prepare, Doing that right now. Uh, Thanks. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Great. So now we're moving on to the filling, as Russia said. Yep. Yes. Yes. Anyone have a question, please? I think they One got... quick question from us. Um, sorry, yeah. we missed how much black pepper and salt was it? I was obviously too busy chopping. It's, more, it's a small uh, spoon, teaspoon, or depends what do you like. If you like uh, a spicy too much, add more. Okay, great. Thank you. Wonderful. Thanks, Rasha. Thanks, Jamal. Yes. Okay, so let's get Shall we start the filling. Next step? Shall yeah. we start? Yes. Um, I uh, bring a pan and put it on the cooker on here uh, on low heat. Okay. Okay. So you just do as Russia is doing now. You're going to be making the filling. Yes. Get your pan. 
And now I uh, take a small uh, spoon, tablespoon. I use one half. Great. Okay. I uh, like the butter because for me it's add the uh, taste too much. Uh, to uh, it's too much. Yeah. If you don't like, you can use uh, oil, uh, olive oil or vegetable oil, because Great. it depends what you like. Great. I love butter as well, though, Russia. So I think I would stick with butter. <laughs> yes. So just allow that butter to melt in the pan there, as you can see what yeah. Russia is doing. Anyone have a question? How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I think they're doing well. <laughs> now, yeah. now, I put the cooker on medium. Okay, change to okay. medium heat. Only medium heat. Yes. And I drain potato from uh, the water. I put it out. Drain your potatoes that have been sitting yes. in that hot water, please, everybody so that yes. there's no water left and you want to add yes. to and i add it to the uh, butter wonderful all you guys with me please yep they are they're on mute at the moment but they're all i can see them all russia they're all oh, busy okay. <laughs> now i stir until i uh, change the color on medium heat, please. Great, medium heat, everybody, if you've got that. Oh, butter and potatoes, what a lovely smell. <laughs> I can imagine it smells good in everyone's kitchen at the moment. Yes, yes. Uh, the original recipe for this um, is not... Uh, I change it. I said I change it because the chicken in original recipe uh, is uh, does uh, not miss uh, its uh, slice, a thin slice of uh, chicken. And oh. so I change it for this. I use the uh, minced chicken because it's economical, economically better for me when uh, many people uh, visit me. I uh, prepare it quickly and uh, uh, I divide it to slice. Yes, that's good. So it's, it's a much more economical way of cooking. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Okay, so just sauteing those potatoes in that butter. Just keep stirring as yeah. you can see what Rasha is doing there. We have uh, many traditional foods, but uh, need a uh, long time for cooking. Yeah. I uh, want to make a dolma for guys. Ah. But, uh, another, another time when uh, met them, when meet them. Yes, we will definitely do a dolma cooking class, but they're, they're the stuff. Or, or for sometimes. Yes. If, uh, it can take a long time, can't it? Anybody have a question? Have a question, sorry. I think it's all okay at the moment. Yeah, everyone's just cooking away. Um, yeah. Carolina, anything on the live stream? Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, I'm not sure if anyone is cooking or they so busy <laughs> that they can't really uh, respond. But everyone is saying, Rasha, you're doing great, amazing. And just to let you know, uh, Lisa cooked your dish uh, last weekend and she really yeah. liked it. Yes. Yes, Not thank great. you for all. Thank you for all. I hope uh, you like it and support me about, uh, about it and about another dish in the future. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Except. 
Okay, so just find oh, those potatoes. Uh, it is starting. Yep, so the colour is starting to go a little bit golden brown. Yes. Just uh, a little bit, and we we'll see add the vegetables. Wonderful. So those frozen vegetables that you left it to defrost. Please add them now to the potatoes. Yeah. Now I add the vegetables. 100 grams. 100 grams, yeah. Yes. Um, you can add any vegetables you like it. Before, I use, uh, I don't use this vegetable. I uh, use a fresh uh, vegetable and I put it and take time, time for time. Now, I use this because it's um, prepared before, and you can change this filling. Uh, you can, um, I uh, tried with the sausage and the curry just, mm. or some people stoved with the meat and onion, but I like uh, vegetables because the cover or the shell uh, is the uh, uh, chicken. Great. Yeah. Okay. And uh, sausage and curry uh, as well is uh, good. Great. I so, yeah. so you can try lots of different alternative fillings, participants. Yeah. You can try lots can of different add, ways. If you can add any vegetable, you like it. Yeah. Wonderful. But this is and your now, filling. Yes. Now I put uh, salt and another. A small tea, a small spoon, garam masala. Great. So that's some salt and some garam masala into the filling. Uh, sorry, I don't, I don't add the salt. I don't cube. Vegetables the cube. So vegetables the cube. Ah, one. okay. <laughs> one. I add one. Great. And small. of garden and I add a cup of water and a cup of water yes. and now we break or we try melt the uh, stock uh, vegetables uh, few okay great so that was one vegetable stock cube. You can crumble it in or break it up, however you want to do it. Uh, no salt. Um, and then a little teaspoon of garam masala just to flavor the filling yeah. there and a cup of water. And leave the cooker on medium heat. Please. Yep, great. So okay. still on medium heat. I want all vegetables get soft. Ah, necessary, uh, add tub water. Don't use um, don't use uh, boiling water. Okay. Because, uh, because if you add uh, boiling water, the the vegetables uh, the cover for vegetables is uh, melt and inside is still strong. Ah. So when it's, when inside it get uh, ready, uh, the cover is damaged. I so see. Yes, so important we add uh, tap water, please. Okay, so not boiling water, everybody. Just yes. tap water, please, so you don't destroy the vegetables. <laughs> Anyone have a question, please? Uh, let's have a look. Anyone got a question? I think they're all looking very busy, which is great. I think you explained everything really clearly, Russia, so that's all fine. Okay. No questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So you're wanting to try to reduce that water um, from the vegetables. Slowly it's cooking away and breaking yes. it down. Yes, but I won't try it's not. 
Right. Carolina, when you made this last week, how did it how did it smell at this point? Yes. Oh my no. god! I think uh, that's the best smell ever: garlic and minced meat together. Oh, yes. and onions. Ah, oh, the chicken one, the chicken mince meat, the filling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, the the, the raw. Mm. And the garam masala as well. Mm. Now I leave it to the uh, water is drained. Okay, so just leave it on the side until the water evaporates there. Yes. Anyone have a question, please? How are you doing? I think they're all doing well. We've got Karen uh, stirring away the potatoes there. How are you doing, Karen? Yeah, we're doing well. Yeah. Yeah. How does it smell? It smells amazing. It smells good. really good. Good. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. And Joe is over there. You okay, Joe? How's it going? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, I've got my vegetables boiling down now. Brilliant, wonderful, on schedule. <laughs> and Hanan, how are you doing? Are you okay? To, uh, to Jamel, because she did the great thing with Hafsa today. Tonight. <laughs> ah, Jamal and Hafsa yeah. are cooking together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, um, we, well, Jamal, Jamal thought you yeah. were going to ask him um, about a special gadget in the kitchen, and he got what prepared this fancy gadget that he bought recently because he can't stop cutting his fingers. Oh, oh shoot! Nice. Ask him. It's the ah. that you can slice through. Oh, That's really clever. Any of the clumsy cooks out there? It, it's easy. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So no questions, Rasha, but just some showing off of some utensils. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what's next, Rasha? <laughs> um, before the uh, water is drained, I just uh, I put the dried uh, basil because uh, it's add uh, more test for uh, the filling. Okay, so yeah. add a little bit of basil. How much are we adding there? Uh, a small, uh, small spoon, teaspoon, teaspoon, or uh, uh, increase this because it's test. I add like this. It's a nice one. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. I put before um, uh, the water is dry because all the vegetables take it. Yeah, so it absorbs all that lovely aromatic yeah. flavor from the basil. Mm. And it's the uh, it's this colorful. Yeah, it's looking really colorful actually. Yeah. That's great. Now I try the carrot, it's not ready. The potato I want, the potato is good. And the beans need, need a little bit, okay. Okay, so just need a few more minutes there with the filling. Yes, until the, the water is dry. Great. Yes. So next. Hafsa, 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 Russia. Yes. Russia. Uh, there, yes. are other ways to cook potatoes. Maybe fry it before, non uh, put yes. it in the hot water. We can. Yes. Uh, yes, you can fry it before uh, to prepare uh, filling. Uh, sometimes okay. the potato uh, still strong. Uh, you can uh, fry it before. You can uh, fry it. Okay. Yes. Oh. In the butter or in the oil? It. What is the best? No, in the in oil. The... Yes. In because the oil. Because okay. the butter Thank you, uh, has the uh, water. So, uh, yeah. Yes. So okay. it's Thank good uh, in the oil. Great. Okay, yeah. so what's okay. the next step, Russia? What are we doing now? Uh, the, we 
uh, bring the uh, Miss Chicken from the fridge. Okay. Yes. So taking but the. It needs to squeeze the water. Like, to clear this. It needs. Okay. Yes. Great. So if your water has decreased, you can take it off the heat. But if it's still lots of water, just leave it to reduce a little bit more. And in the meantime, take your chicken um, mixture out of the fridge because we're going to prepare the roll now. Yeah. Now, now I bring uh, the the chicken drinks. Great. Anyone have a question, please? I think everyone's okay for the moment. I think the fun yeah. starts now. <laughs> yeah, the fun starts now with this one. <laughs> okay, so how, let's let's get take them through Russia. Take them through the um, chicken roll. Are you ready to go through the chicken roll? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just uh, the filling heat. One minute. Yes. Now it's ready. Wonderful. Yes. Uh, uh, I bring uh, the chicken mince from the fridge. Every one with me, please. Yep, they are. Yeah. Yes. And now what we need? We need a clinic film and foil. Wonderful. Okay. And scissors. Cling film, foil, and scissors. And you're gonna do. Without, without. <laughs> do you prepare? Wonderful. And I get a chopping board like Rasha's there. Yes. Everybody, same step with me? Yeah, I believe so. Yes. yes. This um, uh, chicken mince, I want to divide it for three. Okay. okay. Three balls. Three balls. Okay. Three balls. Okay. If you like it, make it two and one small or three or just two. What do you want? You can make. Ah, okay. So you can do two big fat ones <laughs> or three... Yeah. Three medium sized ones. Yes. That's very nice. I like want it. To try it. Great. Yes. And now I put the clock because I need it. Now, what I put, I put piece of clinic film on the cutting board and I cut like a rectangle, okay? Great. Yes. And put the ball of chicken mince and what I need, I need to cover it with another uh, piece of a clinic film, like mm -hmm. uh, same size. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yes. Now I cut from here. Now what I need, I need uh, the rolling pin. This one. Wonderful, yes. Anyone have a question? I think, let me just check to see how everyone's doing. I think Karen's got the cling film out, that's good. And okay. I think Veronica and Mike are good, yep. And Hafsa and Jamal, yes, very good. Yep, so they're all ready to go. Good. Um, yeah, they're all good. Okay, Russia. Okay, now I open it like a rectangle, please. Like a rectangle. 
So roll out that cling film yeah. sandwich. So it should have the chicken inside with the cling film on the top and the bottom. Rolling yes. it out to a rectangle shape, please. Yes. It's, uh, it's not thin, not... Uh... Not thick. Yes. Okay, that's a good point. So not too thin, please, and also not too thick. Yes, not thin, not thick. Wonderful. Wow, it looks because like a pizza. We, we, wrote, we roll it and... Uh, okay, like a rectangle shape. Great. Mm -hmm. Everyone with me, same step. I can see everyone's doing it so far, which is great. Yeah, everyone uh, needs to be with you. Uh, Russia, Russia, uh, yes, I have yes. something to say because your recipe is multicultural first, then you used modern technique. You can imagine this technique is really, really, is not homemade, but it's modern technique with the great chef. Yeah, yes, yes. it's the same. Uh, yes. Um, so uh, I changed for uh, the slice uh, chicken to the mains because I like this step. Mm, yeah, it's very clever. Very clever, really. Yeah. yeah. And I uh, made some uh, same this, but I film just cheese and make like a finger and uh, grill it. Uh, mm. Chicken kofta. Oh, with mozzarella God. cheese, just with mozzarella cheese. Oh, I put nice. it in the egg and uh, yeah. yes. That's a good idea. Yes. All it's people, easy. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you don't have time to prepare vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. With the chicken and the mozzarella. Yes. Now I take it, I take the the above. Yep. The, so the top one. layer. Yeah. Yes. yes, in the top. Yes, the first one, I take it. Wonderful. And I save it because I need it again. Yes, that's a good idea. So don't throw away that cling film. You'll be using it yes. two more times. Yes. Now, I put amount of the filling. Depends what do you like. If you like too much, you can't put too much. If you like little, if you like, just uh, covering all the rectangle. Okay, so cover all of the rectangle, the whole yeah. surface space. Um, maybe divide the mixture up depending on how many rolls you're making. Yes, if today we make three. Yeah, nice. <laughs> So you notice that Russia is spreading it right to the edges yet there. So don't worry about uh, overfilling, just put it right to the edges. Yes. And leave, leave one centimeter from the edge. Okay. Uh, the side, the side, this yep. side, okay? So leave one centimeter around the edge. Not uh, all edge, just the uh, this. Okay. The two ends, yeah? Great, yes. okay. The two shortest ends, yeah. Yes. Now everybody with me because I, I want to roll. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Let me just check to see if everyone's okay. Um, Okay, well, I think Rasha, you go ahead and roll it and so people can watch and then you can do another one in a bit as well. I okay, have, I have a question. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yep, yeah. go on. Are we doing anything with the cheese at the moment or not? Oh, yes. Oh, anything so with the yes. cheese? <laughs> well done, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you reminded Rasha. Yes, thank you very much because the ingredients in another side. <laughs> yeah. So you get that mozzarella. Yes, thank you very much. And chop that up. I, yes, but mozzarella cheese, I like it because it um, isn't too much uh, salted. 
if I uh, if the filling uh, is too much salt, uh, it can absorb. Yeah, the cheese it can absorb. So you can now, just tear the mozzarella or just chop it around the yes. filling. It's chopping around the filling because we want to uh, cover it. Okay. Like this. Great. So just Thank you very much for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe is a pro, so <laughs> that's why she didn't Thank forget. <laughs> It's good point. <laughs> now we are ready to roll it. Great. I start. I hold like this the clinic film. I don't touch the chicken, just the plastic. Okay? And I put it like this, I press. And I take it. Oh, so it unfolds the cling film away from the chicken as you fold it over. Yes. Now I pull it and I roll it. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, and press. Very interesting. Okay. It's clear. Yes, I think so. It's like a sushi roll almost. So yes. you're kind of pulling it away and rolling it forward, but pulling the yes. film away. Great. Yes. And make it like a cylinder or rolling mm. shape. Yeah. That's okay. Very clear. Mm -hmm. Yes. And finally, I turn it like this opposite way. I press here because I want to close this. Oh yes, they want to close the, the ends together. Yes. And I put it or oh, take it out. And now I return this and roll it like a cylinder. Very okay. good. Okay. Yes, I think that looks pretty clear. Yes. Yeah. And now I twirl both outside. Close it. And just twisting the two ends yes. there. Like a Christmas yes. cracker. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everybody oh, yes. Can I show you some roll sausages? There's Joe's. Can you see Joe's? Gosh. Amazing. Yeah. Good. Amazing. And Hafsa, Jamal, have you done it yet? <laughs> Hafsa, is that okay, Hafsa? You can press it from the side. You can. Press it from the side. Yeah, I've just got one, one side which has seeped out of the cling film, but I'll fix it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's fine that's fine Karen how are you doing um, so yeah just have okay. um, I think we're doing okay Ooh, I think we've got a sausage yeah oh. looking good it's a very big one isn't it I know it's like quite fat this one <laughs> Russia how does it look yes like this <laughs> good yeah oh, nice. it, oh. <laughs> okay it's not quite okay. <laughs> Okay, Karen. <laughs> yes. Now, anyone have a question, please? I think let's have Veronica and Mike. How are you guys doing? You all right? <gasps> good. <Very> amazing. Nice. <laughs> Very amazing, good. guys. Amazing. Well done. Now, well done. I bring foil, aluminium, and I cut. Like this. Like this. Okay. And again, roll it. Because I won't put it in the boiling water. 
Mm, so it needs to be fully, fully sealed off. Yeah. And same, close the edge. Now, important step. I bring two two toothpicks. Yes. yes. I use one for make a hole over all the roll. Okay. Great. So just pricking lots of holes, Russia. Yes, lots of uh, of holes. Yes, over okay. all the roll. Great. And are you pricking and all the way through to the meat? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And why are we doing that, Russia? Because when I put it in the uh, boiling water, I uh, it gets ready quickly. Right. Mm. Yes. Fantastic. All guys with me, same? I think so. You'll be very impressed with them, Russia. Everyone looks like they are absolutely on track. Um, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Story. We've got yes. some side by side there as well. Yeah, you've got some Let's great see. with you tonight. Uh, so ah, good. Hafsa did too. Amazing. And Amazing. That's great. Looks like a burrito, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Looks <laughs> so good. <laughs> Very nice. nice. Very nice. And me as well, same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Good, good, good. Now, uh, I put the, mm. I open or turn uh, the uh, the kettle. I need two lit liter water. Okay? One liter of water to boil in two. the kettle. Two liters. Two liter. Two to liters. Boil in the kettle. Yeah. Yes. Two liters of boiling water. Just get the kettle on there, and then whilst the kettle is boiling, you can make your other rolls. Yes. Oh, it's very exciting to watch everybody kind yes. of create something. You're right, Rasha. Cooking is not just about food, is it? It's also about art. Yes. <laughs> yes, and this it's is for me, art. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes it's uh, science. Yeah. When we, when we add uh, some things together, uh, yeah. we uh, get uh, hot. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Yes. Now I uh, make another one. Same, I need just one because I saved the other one. Cling film, just, yeah? Yes, just one, clean it from. I put it in there. Wonderful. And I think the cooking is very individual as well. We are in a live stream. We are laughing like every single sausage yeah. uh, looks, uh, it's got different shape and looks different, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. It's so true because as Russia is, Russia is right. You can make any, anything as you like. It just depends yes. on your flavors, you know? Yes, yes. Now I put another bowl from chicken and I cover it with another clinic film, same way. I open it like a rectangle. Great, so rolling it out like a rectangle yes. again. So reusing that previous cling film from the first uh, yes. bottom layer or top layer sorry nothing no, uh, nothing not thick please great oh I'm getting hungry now just watching all of yes. you cook <gasps> Russia does your little daughter like this yes does she like having the vegetables in there as well Sorry, uh, clear. Does she Sorry. like the vegetables in the filling as well, or does your daughter not like the vegetables? No, my daughter uh, don't like any filling or cheese inside. 
Oh, so she just likes plain chicken. Yes, just uh, plain chicken, and I roll it for her, same way, <laughs> but without anything. Oh, yes. And that's so wonderful, isn't it? We change everything for our for our families, yes. for our children, depending on yes. their tastes as well. Yes. Uh, now the water is boiling. I put it uh, on the cooker. Great. So get your hot water on the cooker, everybody, to prepare to boil your rolls. Don't, don't add anything. Don't add salt or oil. Just okay. water. No salt, no oil. Yes. Uh, Claire, uh, you can yeah. imagine. I am agree agree with uh, Russia when she said cooking is art. I want to add something that I believe because a recipe has no soul. Someone someone said this, but I love it. You as the cook uh, must bring soul to the recipe. You can imagine because everyone want to cook something, bring something in this recipe. Uh, we are because we are different how to cook and we are different how 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 we are how we are and how we give this recipe the law absolutely absolutely yeah. and i think everyone's dish tonight will be very different will have their own taste. yeah very different yeah yeah, yeah. So now great. I, put, I put the water on the cooker i prepare the second one same. Right. I save the this one, and I put filling. Wonderful, wonderful. Same way, exactly. Depends what you like. If you like too much. If you like little filling, and what do you like? Uh, do you like uh, another vegetables? Yeah, so you can add even anything. I'm thinking even sun-dried tomatoes would be nice in this as well. Yes. Yeah. Oh, or yeah. Uh, like leaf, what made uh, she added uh, uh, mushroom. Oh, yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Carolina? Fresh mushroom. Mm. Yeah, yeah uh, Lisa, uh, who is from Afghanistan, she just mentioned that they've got a similar thing when we were talking about kofta. So it's it's kofta, but they put inside boiled egg. So it could be boiled eggs as, uh, boiled egg as well. Mm. Maybe it's cultured for... Uh, her country. Yeah. Every yeah. country has a yeah. culture. Yeah. A traditional yeah. food. Yes. Yes. Now I roll it same way. I don't, oh, uh, I hold, sorry, I hold the plastic and I roll it. I take it out. Now I pull it and I roll it. I press, same, I roll it, I press. Everyone with me, please? I think so, they are, mm -hmm. yep. How are we doing? Ladies They're, all doing... <laughs> <laughs> They're all doing really well, Russia. Yeah. And roll it and the closet from the uh, edge or from the side. You make it look so easy, Russia. Yes, because <laughs> I make it- uh, Many times. Always, yes, or every month. Every month, wow. Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> yes. So now it's one of your I, favorite dishes. Yes. Mm. Russia, no, also, Russia also makes many other dishes as well. She also does kaber yes. <laughs> and dolma as well, which are in our, well, the kaber is in our cookbook, which is absolutely delicious. Yeah. I hope, I hope uh, you try it in the future, both. 
It's so hard to make though, Kobe. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, same. I cover it with foil and I close it from the side. And don't forget, make a holes. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, maybe I forget me but mozzarella. <laughs> oh, you forgot mozzarella. That's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Yes, because I'm sure everyone else remembered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because now I make hole over all the roll. Rasha, yes. Uh, so uh, some people are asking if uh, putting uh, leek and mushrooms would be a good idea. Somebody asked about grated cheese instead of mozzarella. Yes, but if uh, add a grated cheese, um, be careful with salt because maybe that another type of cheese is salted. Right. Okay. okay? Yeah, that's that. That's a good tip. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Now, um, Hafsa just asked, are we meant to have already one boiling in the pot? No, don't worry. Yes. Just waiting I, for the second roll. I made second one. Wonderful. This one. Yes. And now I put it in the water. Great. Both, because the pot is large and enough to take sec uh, two, okay? Great. Can they fit three in if they want to? Sorry? Can they put in three if they want to? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's uh, enough for uh, take three. Yes. Great. Yes. Okay, so put your rolls into the pan or continue with your third one if you are if you are doing yes. that one. I continue with third one. Fantastic. Rasha. Yes, Hana. Yes. Uh, I, I have a question. Uh, yes. Who inspired you to try new recipe recipes, especially in your uh, Iraqi cuisine? Maybe it's um, Inspired from Bengali, Kati Roll. Uh, but about you, it's your mom, your uh, oh. your sister. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, I talk about the Iraqi kitchen. Uh, <laughs> my mom made uh, many things is different, or uh, she is a trite, <laughs> all uh, every uh, Every uh, she is trying to make everything is change, or put oh, something, wow. or add something, <laughs> or change the recipe, and uh, <laughs> in, uh, in totally it's a uh, very test. That's so funny. So your yes. mom loves to create. Yes, yes. 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 Sometimes uh, we haven't uh, some ingredients and change something. Uh, add something uh, wow. and yeah. get very nice taste. Yeah, Wonderful. because time to time, uh, time to time, we have to adapt with the ingredients we have in the fridge. This I love this way. We can't, yes. you, you know, this uh, collegated with the renovating recipe because we don't we don't need to have all the the, the ingredients. We have to manage yes. with the, with other yes to, to change little bit of the recipe, yeah, yeah. And it sounds now, like your mum was a scientist, Rasha. She's creating and inventing so many different dishes in the kitchen. Yes, and she is love uh, love make uh, food uh, uh, love make food and love cooking. Wow, and, uh, her uh, cooking. Uh, more more de delicious than me. Oh, I'm sure it is. Now, and, uh, sorry, sorry, Hanan. No, 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 no. I I have just to say this because you can imagine uh, 
the Iraqi cuisine uh, has a long history going back to 10,000 years back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a long history behind your uh, your food or your recipe, maybe in your ingredients. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Now I make the third one, same way. I put. Can I just ask a quick question, Russia? Yes. Um, when the roll is in the pot boiling, does the yes. water need to cover it? Yes, it's covered. See. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good question, Hafsa. Yes. Um, so yeah, now, just finishing off your third roll, just like what Russia is doing now. Yes, I make the last one, same way. I need the first covering and I roll it, uh, sorry, I open it like yeah. a rectangle. And Russia, can we yes. freeze these? If we don't want to eat all of them now, can we freeze any of them? Yes, yes, sure. Really? You can uh, store it in the fridge one month. Sometimes uh, I make uh, many and I yeah. use one or two and I put the, uh, the another one in the fridge. But a well, really good idea. Yes, I uh, put it out until uh, 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 I put it out until uh, cool, come cool. Okay. Okay, so it's all defrosted. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, I because I thought it's a really good shape, and you can freeze and make many rolls and just yes. keep them in the cling film. It's a very good idea. And the taste for for it is doesn't. Uh, isn't a change, it's the same. Oh, that's good. Yes. So it doesn't reduce. Yes. The last one. Ooh. Wonderful. Yes. How many rolls did everyone make? Half said, how many rolls did you make? You made three, brilliant. Good. That's good. Uh, two. And Mike, how many did you make? How many did you make, Mike? Was it? Th Mike, how many did you make? Oh, three, sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> Great, Karen, what about you? How many did you make? Um, three. Great, nice. Is that enough for the family? Uh, yes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Great, that's good, that's good. Now, I... yeah, Russia? Yes, I put the filling, last filling. And now I put the cheese beside me. <laughs> yes, make sure you don't get, forget the cheese this time. <laughs> yes. That's okay. I'm just thinking that those sausage rolls, those chicken rolls, they're a bit like dumplings, yeah? You can put everything inside. Oh, yeah. This is why they qualified for the, uh, yeah. the cook-along, because they were dumplings. <laughs> oh, I add the cheese and roll it. Great. Yeah, you can put anything inside, really. I yes. think... I'm going to try maybe with um, like a minced beef as well. Can we use minced beef? I uh, uh, um? I didn't try it before, but I uh, hope in the future uh, make it with minced beef because my family like it with chicken. Ah. Yes. And uh, I think all people like chicken uh, more than uh, minced uh, beef yes perhaps I think yeah. you're probably right it's a healthier option as well yes I say it's difficult uh, when I chose the dish uh, for me <laughs> because I think about the people what do you like and mm. 
part of health. No, well, I think it's a very useful dish for everyone to know so they can adapt it. Now I feel it. it especially nice uh, uh, in the summer. Mm. Very healthy mm. yeah, with the fresh salad. Perfect. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think so as well. I roll it and I close it from the side. Same way. And I cover it with foil. Wonderful. Aluminium foil. And same, make hole, holes over all the roll. I don't put it now because uh, they are, it's uh, near ready. To yes. Work. Yes. That's true. So if everyone else has got the three in there, you yes. want to cook it. But if you've only got two, just leave the one on the side. You can cook it after the other two have come out. Yes, I leave aside. I leave it aside. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, how much minute takes to be ready? 10 or 15, 10 or 15. Uh, depends okay. the size of uh, from roll. Okay? Of the roll. Uh, uh, small, okay. Yes. If it is small, uh, 10 minutes. This is doesn't just small <laughs> need 15. <laughs> yes. So we've got uh, Veronica says it's very it's smelling delicious now, Russia. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> Wonderful. Are you looking forward to eating it, Veronica? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I wish I had some. You will you will be surprised with the taste. Listen to me. <laughs> ah yes, you've tried it by home, home, you Hanan. Mm, I hope. Yes. <laughs> Great. So the rolls are in the uh, in the on the stove. And so yeah. everyone's cleared up, I imagine now. So the last thing to do, Rasha, is um, I uh, take it out. Uh, I drain, and um, uh, this is ready to eat when uh, they drain the water. Uh, ready to eat. Okay. Uh, but I like uh, fried it with one spoon uh, from uh, butter. Uh -huh. Of butter, sorry. So, because I want to uh, change the color to brown and uh, crispy uh, uh, shell. Brilliant, okay. brilliant. So, guys, if you it's, it's normally ready to eat when it's boiled, but Rasha is going to actually fry it as well. So it will in a little bit of butter. But please feel free. You don't have to. But Rasha highly recommends it because it tastes delicious. Yes. <laughs> Oh, or um, uh, you can uh, grill it in the oven. It's uh, yeah, and insane. grill later. Yes. Yeah, great. So, what have we got to go with it? Are we doing anything else? Uh, no. Uh, I um, uh, wait it to. <laughs> Great. So should we get yes, started sorry. on the on the salad? Sorry. Oh, uh, we start. Yeah, we start I think the... so. That sounds like a good plan. And whilst we're waiting for the for the other things, all uh, the guys uh, same with me. I think they are. Yeah, they're all good. Okay. Veronica and Mike are good. Hafsa and Jamal are good. Karen looks good. Joe, Joe, you were having some connectivity issues. You're okay now. I'm having some quite serious connectivity issues. Oh, so I'm into thing. another room, but oh, my rolls dear. are cooking. Great. So it's fine. Yeah. Brilliant. Everything Brilliant. Everything will be okay. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. okay. Now I prepare to make salad. I bring the ingredients here. Yes. Brilliant.
So you want to gather your ingredients for the salad, everybody. Um, and Rasha, if you want to bring them over here to the closest camera. Um, yeah, I want to show my guys what I put. Great. I yeah. think... Um, the main thing is a regime. I think that camera Russia has stopped. So if you just come oh. come over, yeah, come over here. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Then uh, this one. Yeah, or, yeah, I can oh. do this one. Let's that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So the main things is aubergine. One aubergine, cut it like a slice and uh, a slice and uh, fried it before because yeah. we need it uh, cool. Great. Okay? So the fried okay. aubergine needed to cool yeah. on the sides. Yes. And the second one is the cucumber. Same. Half a cucumber. Wonderful. And make it slice. Great. This is very yeah. clear. I like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the third thing uh, is uh, half red uh, and yellow and the green of uh, green papers, uh, uh, papers, sorry. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, so green, red. yellow and red peppers. Yes, papers. And just I bring it here. We're just lining up all of those prepped ingredients there. To make yes. this beautiful coloured salad on the side. Yes. And chickpeas. Great. 30 grams. Wonderful. Chickpeas. And one large tomato. Tomato, sorry. Oh, you can say tomato or tomato, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and Small onion, make a slice. Make Wonderful. it slice. Okay. Sliced up, yeah. Yes. And important thing, one tablespoon bom, uh, bom, pomegranate molasses. Great, pomegranate molasses there. Yeah. Wonderful. That is an absolutely wonderful ingredient that you'll be so happy that Russia made you buy it because it goes yeah. well with everything. And Rashi yeah. will give you some more ideas for that. Yes. And uh, one tablespoon of sumac. Mm. Yes, it's very tasty with this, this type of salad. This is, again, a wonderful spice that many yeah. people don't know about, but is beautiful on fish, cucumber. Yes. What other things is it good with, Russia? sumac? Uh, with the kebab, grill kebab, traditional Iraqi food. Lovely. Tasty. Yes. Lovely. And the um, city in the Iraq has a, a type uh, or a special food called asmaqiyya. It's Ooh. very sour. <laughs> wow. Just, uh, yes. Too much from smak or smak uh, called asmaqiyya. Oh, yeah. so cool. It's a very sour taste, isn't it? But yeah. used in the right quantity, it can be very yes. delicious. Uh, just one city in Iraq is uh, Mosul, uh, make this type of food. Wow, that's so interesting. Yes. And one tablespoon of ketchup. Yum, great. Yes. And salt, depends what do you like. Great, so you can flake okay. that. Before I, uh, pre I uh, start uh, to prepare salad, I want to uh, drain the water. It's uh, the roll it's ready. Roll should be ready now. I think that's been about 10 to 15 minutes there. Yes. If they weren't 10 to 15 minutes for you guys, just um, leave them in a little bit longer. If you want them cooked through. Yes. I turn off the... Uh, 
now. I decrypt. I take it. Great. So shake off the excess water there. Whereas remember, it's got the holes in it. Yes. one and put this aside because I won't continue the salad mm. I won't continue the salad uh, now I bring big or large bowl to mix everything Wonderful. So yes. everyone get your big, large mixing bowls for the salad. Yes, I I put cucumber because it's uh, strong. This is the first. Good. Great. So there is an order to how you would put the vegetables in. Um, yes. So listen carefully to Russia. Yes. I put the cucumber first, and the second one, sorry, the, coloring, the coloring pepper, I add in. Wonderful. Yes. And third one, the onion. I add onion. Anyone have a question? Yes. I think everyone is very mesmerized and just watching you, <laughs> watching <laughs> you put everything in. So I think it's doing well. <laughs> Unless anyone has any questions. No, I think everyone's fine there. Great, mm -hmm. Rasha, keep going. Thank you. And now I add the tomato. and add chickpeas. I love all these ingredients. They're just so fresh and I love the texture of the crunchy mm -hmm. onions and peppers. Yes, mm. and finally I add uh, the aubergine. That's great. This Thank salad has great. many flavors. Sorry, uh, clear. I think that was Carolina, actually. I think this is great, that combination of fresh vegetables and fried uh, aubergine. Yeah, yes. it's of different textures. And this is, this is, this is amazing, amazing. You tried yeah. it. You tried it before, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. It's very clever. <laughs> yes. Now I leave it. I uh, fried the... Uh, Sticker roll, and I won't save it like this because when I mix it, the water from uh, vegetable is come out. Okay. Okay. So everyone, just leave your salads to one side, and we'll put on the dressing at the very, very end because, as Rasha said, you don't want it to become a bit mucky yes. um, before uh, you eat it. Um, okay. If you are planning to eat tomorrow, please just leave the dressing to one side, but Continue now, Russia. I apologize, okay. I interrupted you. Now I put this side and I bring uh, chikorol. Now I said it's ready for eat, uh, this chikorol. Uh, or, or you can save it after uh, it's become cold in the uh, freezer. One month, uh, it's the uh, same test. It's the uh, isn't change. Brilliant. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, Russia, we we've got the question. Yes. So, uh, when you boil them, uh, how long they can stay in the fridge for? Maybe one month. I put it in the freezer. It's, but in the uh, fridge, how long in the fridge they can stay? Not the freezer, oh, the fridge. Uh, not long time. Not long time. 
So maybe one day, one, maybe. one one night or two, it's uh, right. It's and can somebody also asked if you don't boil them uh, before boiling, can you put them in the fridge and how long for? In the freezer. Fridge. Uh, the fr mm. Yes, yes. If the uh, uh, if the uh, the fridge is uh, cold, you can put it. But uh, don't be late because mm. this is meat. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, chicken or same meat. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It okay. should definitely Thank be you. maybe maximum of one day. Yeah. Yes. Now, welcome. Now I open. I put all the foil and. So carefully unwrap your chicken rolls. Yes, but it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Be careful with your fingers. <laughs> and we're going to take off the yeah. tin foil. And, and also, I think, yes, the clinic film. Great. Or I use the knife. <laughs> oh, good thinking. Use a knife or yes. some scissors. Just cut through yes. there. Yes. The chicken mince, it's ready to eat. Okay. Okay. And another one. I take it off. But you're going to fry it, aren't you? Yes, I want. You want you want to have that kind of extra flavor and crispiness yes. and the the shell or the cover uh, cover, uh, cover uh, the color for it uh, become uh, nice yeah nice and golden and yeah, yeah. brilliant Oh, look at Jamal and, and wow, that looks wow. great, Jamal and Hafsa. Wow. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. If anyone else has got theirs to show. Oh, Veronica and Mike, let me see. Wow. Oh. <laughs> like really nice sausages. These look great. Fantastic. Oh, so impressed with everybody. Amazing word. Now yeah. I put the, the bun on medium heat, same because I want to get the brown color. And I put uh, one tablespoon of the uh, butter. Great. Yes. Just going to brown up those, those rolls. Yes. Let that sizzle. I said, if you uh, if you if don't like butter, you can add uh, oil, vegetable oil or sunflower oil. But I like, I suggest to try with butter. Yeah, like I think more. that's a good one for <laughs> yeah. sure. You like it more. Great. Um, so Caroline, I think it's got a question. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got the question. Can you can we put the sausages on the barbecue instead of uh, frying them on the frying pan? Can we barbecue uh, them? Sausage or sausage? Can we barbecue them after boiling? Can you put it? Can we put it on a barbecue? I, I tried with uh, sausage. It's uh, very delicious. Oh, the roll, she said. Did you want to, uh, can you put the chicken roll on the barbecue? Ah, oh, uh, I, uh, I never uh, tried it before, but it's uh, possible. 
yeah like a kebab i think right yes yes yeah it's a good way nice now i i put it but be careful because oh listen to that sizzle <laughs> that sounds excellent thank you mm. oh the sounds oh, of cooking you can't you can't smell the smell the butter <gasps> oh i wish i could <laughs> <laughs> i get so hungry over here watching you all cooking away it's just brilliant. It's brilliant to see all of this going on. But we didn't see Joe's uh, sausage. We didn't see Joe's sausage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll show you. Hang on. Yeah, show me, please. <laughs> Let's see how uh, I think Joe's having a few connectivity issues, so she might be able to do it. Let's try it. Did you see that one I just showed you? Uh, no, we missed it. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Wow. wow. Masha, look wow. at that. That looks great. Yes. yes. Wow, amazing work. Oh, wonderful. I hope you like it. <laughs> so no. those are just cooking away in there. Are they, are they still frying, Russia? Yes. Now I see it gets. Oh, very nice. Really great. I mean, these are just brilliant. Like you could make so many of these in advance and just freeze them and then just have them for anything, have them for a dinner party or even like a starter or for your kids. It's a really, really versatile dish that you can have anywhere. Um, Carolina, have you ever seen anything like this before? No, I'm just amazed with that technique. Wow. I love it. I'm going to try with different kind of meats and different fillings. Uh, I love it. I love it. Perfect for the for, for, for a party. As you said. Yeah. Can you hear us, Vasha? I, I don't hear you. That's okay. Can you hear us now? Uh... I... Don't worry, oh. just try. Can you hear us now? I'm just going to talk to you now. Can you hear? Good. Yes. Everything's okay. Yes. Wonderful. I want every side shake a brown color. Great. So they're really frying there. Looking good. Uh, and if you want decoration the uh, or decorate the dish, I want decorate it with the uh, red cabbage and the slice of uh, carrot. Mm. Any uh, vegetable you can uh, use it from decorate. The Great. Dish. So okay. you can be an artist now again I, and decorate. Yes. Now I prepare for decorate. That is wonderful. Just don't forget the roll. So keep on stirring it. That's great. Yes, I bring this. I bring one of red cabbage. Lovely. And, uh, small carrots. Great. Yes. 
any of the civil you can. But these are very colourful ones, aren't they? You've got the purple and the orange. Yes. I think the roll is ready now. Okay. Yes. I put it on the... Uh, I use it. Great. Feature roll. I put... Wonderful. Yes. So this is just I to drain it. off the the yes. soft uh, the roll. Yes. Now I take it out. Be careful with it. Now I turn off the heat. I put it beside me until I make decoration. I decorate the dish. Wonderful. Okay, so we're just getting the decorations for the dishes. Don't worry if you haven't got decorations, but I think it's really lovely to watch Rasha create the decoration here. Yes. I cut it, I washed before, and I take this off. And like a slide Ooh, thing. Have a look at Veronica and um, Rasha, is that okay? Oh. Hey, Veronica and Mike's. Oh, amazing work. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> Wonderful. Well done, guys. Um, I'm going to go back to Rasha now so she can shop off her stuff. Yes. I make it slice. Thin slice. Great. Hafsa says it smells amazing as they're cooking, so that's really good. Yeah. We're just decorating the plate here for the final plating up. And don't forget your salad that's going to have the dressing on it in just a little bit. Yeah. And we did this. And now I peel the carrot. I watch it before. And great. Drain, drain it. So just creating the decoration for the plate. So that's just red cabbages and carrots, but you can use any kind of anything. colorful vegetable, yes. anything you like. Yes, yes, um, anything. Uh, lettuce or maybe uh, tomato or uh, rocket, anything. Just, just uh, I, I uh, be careful about the colors because it's, uh, <laughs> the roll is brown. Needed something around light or shiny. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Yes, Russia no, has I mean, had a lot of practice with um, with uh, uh, styling when she's had to do the cookbook. When she did her recipes for the cookbook, she had to create and make her dishes and make them look beautiful, right? Yeah. <laughs> now I need the carrot like a slice. See? Very thinly sliced half moons. I think some other people are doing some decorations as well. Yeah. Hafsa's got her carrots, following everything following by the letter. That's great. <laughs> and Karen, how are you doing? Um, good. I've not. There's my sausages. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I've not fried them off because I'll probably have maybe one tonight and then maybe some tomorrow for dinner. Yeah, yes. that's a good idea. A nice, uh, nice uh, dish. Nice dish. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Yes, Miss Christmas special <laughs> there. <laughs> yes. Very good. Now I uh, I put the slice. Of carrot, uh, carrot around the plate. It's always important to decorate food, isn't it, Hanan? 
to make everything look so beautiful, make it look nice. Of course, is is not just for the taste, but for the eyes as well. Yeah, we take the decoration. Yeah. Yes, we have. Yes. Yeah, we have example. Eat before. Yeah. <laughs> I put all. Jamal can't wait, so he's already digging in. Oh, Jamal! <laughs> and now, very I good. Guys, uh, that is amazing, but it's just it <laughs> <laughs> so now you're and just brown. wonderful. It's easy to. Put it round because a slice. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay. Now. Before I uh, cut the roll, I prepare, I return to prepare salad. Wonderful. So I just need before. Cool down, yes. I need to cool down. Yes. Great. Yes. Now, we leave it without any spice or salt. Now, what we add, we add a big spoon or a tablespoon of ketchup. Great. One tablespoon of ketchup. Yes. If you like, add more. If you don't like, just one spoon or without. Yes. Now. We add. Salt. It's a teaspoon. A teaspoon of salt. Yes. And depends the test. Test. And we add the big spoon of pomegranate sauce. Great, the pomegranate molasses, a big tablespoon. tablespoon. And what else can you use this molasses with, Rasha? What other things can you put it in? Um, smug, finally smug, we put it. Mm, but the pomegranate molasses, what other dishes oh. do you use it for? Uh, we have another city in Iraq, in South Iraq, have a traditional dish, a dish. Uh, from uh, pomegranate uh, molasses uh, with the uh, uh, chicken and uh, uh, put uh, almond. Uh, it's a special dish. I uh, I uh, didn't try it before, but I uh, heard about uh, about it. Great. So chicken with almonds and pomegranates. Yes. Yes. Mm. Same. It's a little bit sour. Yes, 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 absolutely. Yes. Great. So you can use it mostly in salads and a few uh, stews. I'm pretty sure I've seen pomegranate molasses in Iranian stews with meat or lamb. Uh, sorry, Claire. Sorry. That's okay. I was, I was just talking about the pomegranate molasses. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> oh, okay. And I put some mark. One teaspoon, is it? Uh, one teaspoon, or I uh, put another one because I like it. You really like it, yeah. yeah. I love it with just fresh, fresh cucumber with sumac and salt. Yeah. It's just amazing for me. And, uh, yes, it depends what you want mm. or what you like. It's very, very nice. Russia. Yes. Yes, Hannah. Is your 
is your favorite salad? Or maybe do you like uh, another salad, type of salad? I uh, do another type uh, from salad, is noodle salad. You Ooh. remember when I made it uh, in Inspire? Yeah, I remember. Yes. <laughs> that was a great salad. Yes, I like this type and uh, another type uh, from a noodle uh, salad. It's yeah, <laughs> that's a wonderful one. So when Rasha attended our English and cooking classes um, back in Inspire in Levensum, about a year or two years ago now, Rasha, and she made this amazing noodle salad. It was so delicious. And then we realized her cooking skills were excellent and very interesting and varied. Yes, yeah. uh, 2018, maybe. I yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so the final steps, everybody, coming up to nine o'clock. We're going to yeah. mix up the salad. Yes, now we mix up together. And uh, I uh, think it's the... Uh, isn't uh, need decorate, uh, decorated because it has many colors. Wonderful. Great. Karen's mixing away there, I can see. Yes. Wonderful. Well, <laughs> yeah. have, you used, um, have you used a pomegranate molasses before, Karen? I have once in a recipe, um, but this is the first time I've actually bought it for myself. Um, oh. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. exciting. I hope you, have you, yeah, have you used some, it for some more recipes as well? Yes, I used to um, sometimes get a gusto box that gets sent to you with all the ingredients already prepared. Oh, and they quite often nice. have pomegranate molasses. Um, oh. But I didn't have many recipes to buy it for myself. So this is quite good. I've got a few recipes now to try it with. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. Now I uh, put it in the dish. Great. Yes, for dish. And now I want to cut the uh, chicken roll. Great. Yes. I bring one tissue because it's hot. Yes. Now I uh, cut it a slice like this. Okay, so now cut your roll into maybe two centimeter slices. Yes. Use this sharper knife, bread yes. knife. <laughs> yes, it's a good idea. Yes. Wonderful. So just cut up those slices there and prepare them to go onto the plate. Yes, and I put it. In the place like this. Oh wow. Can you hold hold one close to the camera so we can see what it looks like, Russia? Like this? Uh, just hold one slice closer. Oh, one one like, slice. Oh. Yeah. So I yes. can see. I'm just quite interested. Oh wow. So the interest, yeah, wonderful. Yes. So that you can see the mozzarella and the filling in yes. there. Brilliant. Yeah, Thank and you. the cover is brown. Yeah. Great. And it looks quite strong, actually. It doesn't look like it's been going to fall apart there. That's good. I have to ask Jamal, did you like the salad? Because I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. He really likes the salad. I you think like that's it? Definitely <laughs> evidence. <laughs> and finally, I would. The edge like this way. In the middle. Like a flower. <laughs> like a flower. 
Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, Rasha. That yeah. looks absolutely fantastic. Yes. This is great. Well done, well done, well done. Can um, I get and the salad there? That's absolutely fantastic. Can I get everybody to hold up their dishes, please? Just the same as Russia. Uh, amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Everyone has done it. Rasha, you can see that. Look at that. Joe's. No, I don't see. Oh, just mine. Joe's. Can you see Joe's? Oh, and, great. And this is how. A good together. idea. Your decoration uh, with the salad. Yeah. Yes. Hapsus there. Oh. <laughs> good, huh? good. Very good. Yeah. Very good work. And Veronica. Proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Wow, oh, do you know? We're going, to eat it. we're going to eat it now. Hurry up. Uh, yes, yes, eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> oh, uh, do you know what I love, Rasha? They all look so different, don't they? Yeah. It looks so <laughs> different, but you've managed to teach everybody this wonderful dish from from your from your mind and also from your inspirations. And I think that's been absolutely wonderful. Karen, you can eat it now. <laughs> oh, I know you have to keep holding it up. Now I won't uh, try it and tell me, give me a comment. <laughs> Brilliant. So whilst people are eating, I'm just going to finish off uh, the final uh, slide of today. So a big, big, big thank you to Rasha uh, for just sharing her really wonderful dish with us today tonight and taking us through so beautifully and so carefully through the um, chicken roll and the aubergine salad. I think, Rasha, you can see everyone managed to create something beautiful. Yeah. So I think that's very, that's testament to your great teaching. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for thank joining. You to and thank you to everybody. And we'll come back to everyone in just a second. But just before I finish, you have been uh, tuning into Open Kitchens. Open Kitchens is a project. So um, learners like Rasha and previous learners before have all been working with us, working really, really hard, um, developing their existing skills and preparing and demonstrating online for you to enjoy um, via the live stream and um, via Zoom as well. So if you want to book onto our future, cook alongs this was the last one before christmas a brilliant one at that and we've got two more in january we have kadijas and then we have asthma hands as well so please have a look for um booking your space you can buy our cookbook rasha's delicious recipe her cabbe and uh her aubergine no, salad her fatta are um actually going to be developed in or well, are in the cookbook there you can also listen to our podcast and you can also get involved. So you can actually, um, you can go and volunteer with us. You can click on the link to um, sign up to volunteer. We've got a lot of support needed for next year. So hopefully um, we'll get to see some of you guys again soon. Please remember social media at Heart and Parcel. And if you've enjoyed tonight, you can take photos of your wonderful dishes and put hashtag Open Kitchens 2020. Um, and so I'll be sending Rasha all the photos and all of the comments from you guys thank, tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you um, for all. Thank you for joining. Thank you for trying my recipe. Um, I hope you are uh, you like it. And uh, in the future, I will cook another recipe, traditional Iraqi recipe, if I have long time. Yeah, I think we'll definitely get Rasha back to cook some of her, some of her amazing dishes. Um, how does it taste, everybody? Veronica, Mike, how does it taste? Delicious, delicious, yeah, really nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, really Fantastic. Nice. Joe, what about you? Really good, yeah. Thank you, Rasha. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. And have Sir Jamal. Oh, it's incredible. Really it's good. really good. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> and Karen, what about you? 
Yeah, it's amazing. It's really good. They might not last till tomorrow. (laughs) Everyone's going to be eating it now. (laughs) Wonderful. Well, from um, ourselves, the Heart and Parcel team, um, and from Russia, and uh, from everybody involved tonight, just want to say a huge, huge thank you. Um, Carolina and Hanan, thanks very much. Do you guys want to say anything? Just great job, guys. Your your you. sausages, or maybe we shouldn't say sausages, chicken rolls. They they mm. just look amazing, amazing. They do. And everyone in the live chat is just saying the same thing. Looks great, and they all want to do it. Yeah. Oh, I wonderful, wonderful. Much. Hannah, and uh, I want to say thank you for Russia uh, today to thank lead this musical for uh, long. And for all persons who, who has had been to, with us uh, this night, and uh, thank you so much. We will see you again for the next Kokolong. And uh, have a good meal. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. Oh, and I also want to say a big thank you to Rasha's husband as well, who helped us out with all yes. of the wonderful stuff. So thank you to Rasha's husband, wherever he is. <laughs> that helps you out with all the tech and and everything. Brilliant, okay. See you all soon, everybody. Thank you, it's lovely to see your faces again. Have a lovely holiday, Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, guys. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Monica, see you later. Thank you. Merry Christmas, bye. Thank you. Bye, Karen, see you later. Okay. Wonderful. Bye-bye. See you. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye, Bye Veronica. Bye, Karen. I'm just going to stop by.